What Would You Change About the Teaching of Literacy by Ashley Schmidt. Teaching literacy, the ability to read and write, is the most important part of a child's K-12 education. Unfortunately, there is a problem with the teaching of literacy in today's schools. Students are not understanding the text they are reading because they are not being given enough time to read in school. Many students are becoming fake readers who do not actually engage with the text. This becomes obvious in the difficulty many students are having with reading comprehension strategies such as predicting, visualizing, summarizing, and inferring. As students become less engaged, they become less motivated to read as they progress through school. But the problem is, motivation is critical to develop better comprehension skills. What we need is to promote thoughtful literacy. We need to empower students to independently increase their understanding of text. I believe the solution to this problem comes in the form of implementing a structured independent reading program. Children discover and invent literacy as they participate actively in a literate society. So by implementing more reading time into the classroom, we are creating a more literate society. Independent reading is known as Silent Sustained Reading, or SSR for short. Now I am not saying we simply need more SSR time. What I propose is direct strategy instruction for SSR. There is a structured independent reading strategy called R5 that makes SSR more strategic and engaging. R5 stands for read, relax, reflect, respond, and wrap. For read and relax, students read self-selected texts and are allowed to sit in an area of the classroom where they are comfortable. I know that I personally as a student had much more interest in reading a book if I was allowed to choose it than if it was assigned to me. The classroom should have a variety of texts that meet both student needs and curricular goals. Then for reflect and respond, students are given time to think about what they have just read and to record their thoughts in some kind of response journal. Kids have to be able to make sense of what they're reading in their own way, and this gives them the time to do that. The last part of R5 is called wrap. This is where students discuss what they have read. This aids comprehension and motivates them to read. One form of discussion is called pair share conferencing. Students discuss their book with their assigned partner. The other student must actively listen to their partner's thoughts since they will be required to report on each other's books, not their own. The rest of the class must listen actively to identify the comprehension strategies such as prediction, summarization, interpretation, or reflection being used by their classmates. To quote Clausen Grace from her article on R5, if you don't get what you read, you really haven't read at all. Teaching students to understand what they read is critical to their education. Without proper reading comprehension skills, students will continue to struggle in literacy both as readers and as writers. The R5 Structured Independent Reading Strategy is an effective solution to the problems students face with reading comprehension.